Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix bad sound quality on a Windows 10 or 11 PC or laptop. I'll be showing you in Windows 11, but you should be able to follow along in Windows 10 too. This video will be for those of you that believe a problem is causing the bad sound quality. For some general methods to improve the sound quality, you might find another video of mine more helpful. Click the card on screen now to watch that, but let's get into this one. The best place to start would be to check the connections of your device. If your sound device, such as headphones or speakers, are wired, check that these aren't broken and try as many ports as you can on your device. If your device is wireless, ensure that you are within range and that your Bluetooth adapter is either connected to the correct port or that it is designed to be able to transmit higher quality audio. We'll now move on to some of the potential fixes within Windows. We'll first see if your device is enabled correctly. Search for Control Panel and then when it opens, click on Hardware and Sound and then where it says sound in green. This should open a new window and in the playback tab, look for your sound device. First, make sure it is set as the default sound device by selecting it and then by clicking on set default. Next, it's a good idea to disable any other active sound device as this can cause problems with your sound quality. You can disable every device except your main sound device by right clicking on each option and then by choosing disable. Next, go to the recording tab at the top and do the same. Disable every device in here. It's a common problem with Bluetooth headphones that an active microphone on it can limit your sound quality, so disable everything in the recording tab to see if this helps. You may need to wait a minute or two to see if this has worked. Remember to re-enable your devices in here if nothing helped by right-clicking on them and then by choosing Enable. Head back to the Playback tab and this time double-click on your sound device. Go to the Advanced tab and there should be a quality drop-down box. Test out each of the available options in here by selecting them and then by clicking on apply. See if any of these help. You can also test your device out with either of these checkboxes checked or unchecked. Just click on apply each time you want to test it. Next, go to the enhancements tab and select restore defaults. See if this helps. If it doesn't, you might want to play around with some of the enhancements as these could slightly improve your sound quality. The final thing to try in here is to go to the spatial sound tab if you have it. Test your device with this turned on and off. We'll now move on to another method. We're going to try updating drivers, re-enabling and reinstalling the sound device. Search for Device Manager in the search bar and then when this opens, look in the Audio Inputs and Outputs section for your sound device. Once you've found it, double click on it and go to the Driver tab. First, select Disable in here and then wait a few moments and select Enable. Try your device again now. Next, click on Update Driver and then the Automatic option. If there are already the correct drivers installed, you can close this box. The third thing to try in here is to choose Uninstall Device and then Uninstall. Now go to where it says Action at the top and select Scan for Hardware Changes. Try your device once again now. Next, it's worth restarting your PC or laptop if you haven't done this already. A restart could help refresh a lot of the settings on your PC and it could help fix the problem. It's up to you if you want to try this now or at the end of the video, but if you do restart now, when you return to the video, we'll have a few more solutions to try, where hopefully at least one of them will work. The next method is to try running the troubleshooter to see if Windows can find any possible problems with sound or your device. To do this, go to the main settings page by searching for it, and then in the settings, click on System. In the System settings, click on Troubleshoot, and then on the next page, choose Other Troubleshooters. If you're in Windows 10, type in Troubleshoot in the search bar to get here as well. Now click on Run next to the Playing Audio Troubleshooter and choose your audio device from the list and allow Windows to look for any possible problems. Next, think back to when the issue started appearing. There is a chance that a software change or hardware change caused the problem. This could be some new audio software or a new component. If you are certain that one of these changes caused the problem, then you could revert them or research how this will have affected your device and what you can do to work around it. Finally, it's worth trying your sound device on another computer or a phone to see if the problem is with the device itself. Unfortunately, those are all of the methods I have. As always, I will keep the description updated with any new solutions I find, and if any of you find a fix in the future, then it would be great if you could return to the video and post it in the comments to help others. Click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine showing you 10 easy ways to speed up your Windows PC. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below and if you did find today's video helpful, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. 
be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.